Hello viewers, I've just come back from a lovely bike ride this morning, I've just done 36 kilometers on my bike and I'm all refreshed and re-energized and I'm ready to share with you a song that I've been working on recently. So I'm just going to get changed and get to it. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to start from telling you how this song actually came about. The other day I was chatting to my wife and then I picked up the bass and I started jamming, playing some selections of notes and sort of messing about and then this riff came to me, kind of out of nowhere really and I just started playing it and it really resonated with me and I used a slap bass technique which I am a big fan of and the, you know, I got into the groove the rhythm sort of, you know, got me going, made me move, and you know, I thought, you know what, this is this is a really good foundation for a song, so I recorded it and and then sort of build build on on that from there. So I'm just going to play it to you now and see what you think. And this is the bass riff. So once I got that down and I had that foundation of the song, I started to think about the guitar and I was thinking to myself, you know, what could I do on the guitar so it sounds really, really interesting with that bass riff? And my intention was that the guitar would do something completely different whilst complementing the bass. So I came up with this pentatonic lick and sort of chose a slightly different selection of notes but within the same scale that the bass was playing in. And this is the result I've got. So I'm just going to play for you that guitar riff, that, that guitar melody. And I hope that you like that. Have a listen. So there you have it, the bass and the guitar together. Once I had that recorded, I began to think about the overall structure of the song. So I thought, you know, the bass could start it, then the guitar could be added afterwards. And then in terms of the vocal, I didn't want to clutter it with the guitar. So I left the guitar out. Uh, so the vocal would be sunk on top of the bass. And then the guitar would come straight after the vocal. And then I would repeat that in the second verse as well. So I would have some, some kind of like a question and answer musical idea. So that was, that was that. But then I was thinking about the ending of the song. What could I do for the ending? So I came up with a solo. And the way that I write my solos is basically, I always try to tell a, 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 tell a story through my guitar playing. So I would start meandering to the overall recording and just, you know, do it and to the point where I'm happy and I found something that, that sounds unique and interesting and almost complements the message or the emotion that I've already conveyed through my lyrics. So this is what I've come up with for this particular song. Have a listen and I hope you like this.
And this is the solo. Now I'm going to play the entire song for you from start to finish. And by the entire song I mean the bass and the guitar because I haven't actually recorded the drums or the vocal yet. But this is coming next in the second part of this video. You know, and this way you actually are getting to experience the songwriting process as it's happening together with me. So if you like the song and you like the video, please give it a thumb up and also please subscribe to the channel as it helps me grow and develop it. Thank you.